Some of you hear God, but you can no longer pick the frequencies of Zion anymore. You don't know what's going on. Things are happening to you anyhow, and there's no there's no revelation anywhere. I will teach a bit. But let us have this experience, I beg you in God's name. I beg you to hold the horns of the altar. I'm, te I'm not telling you about things that I know by head knowledge. I'm telling you about things that I am coming to experience with. I have, I have come into oneness with glory by the, the virtue of mercy. And I can tell you that glory is real. No matter what anybody says, glory is real. Glory is real. Glory is beyond what a pastor teaches you. If you have not encountered it, you don't know it. God forbid that I walk through the corridors of this earth. And God cannot trust me for the souls of men. God forbid. God forbid. Because some of you, you may, you may end up going to heaven. But when you get to heaven, you will cry. Let me tell you why you will cry. You will cry because when they show you the scripting and the scrolls of your life according to the internal scrolls of your destiny. When they show you, you will cry and say, because you will see your name. And you will see that you were the one that was supposed to bring revival upon your village. You will see that it was through you that glory was supposed to be made manifest. You will see that that same sickness that has kept you for 20 years, you had an anointing to kill it. You will see that you are the one that God wanted to trust a territory into. So you will now know that going to heaven is not is the least of it. God wants men that will become his dynasties upon the earth. God wants men that we carry this glory. That's why the theme for today is the realm of glory. God forbid that I attain a meeting and the meeting talks about the realm of glory, yet I live without glory. God forbid that I come for such a meeting as this and I go back home, yet there's no glory in my life. One of the things that the glory of God does is that the glory of God changes the story of men. How will you talk about men who would have been useless? I'm telling you, some of you, you have uncles. You have aunties. You have people that would have helped you. Maybe you have one connection or the other. But for people like us, we didn't have anybody. If it was not the glory of God, you will not be here listening to me. If it was not the glory of God, I'm telling you, I will not be here for you to listen to. God taught me that no meeting is a minor meeting. That's why he said where two or three are gathered. Some of you, if we had said, come for a fire crusade, you will not come. So what God does sometimes is that God orchestrates meeting as an anniversary. You will think it's a party, but you don't know it's Holy Ghost party. Uh, some of you now is a setup so that you can step up in the spirit. God brought you here for a reason. In my days, I will not tell glory as a story. I will become the glory that men who are stouted the glory of God will see my life and say, indeed, here is glory. Today we talk about prayer and we will not say that until we have spoken about Elijah. He was a man, the Bible says, of light person. But there was something that was done on the inside of Elijah. That every time we want to talk about prayer, no pastor can, they cannot avoid him. They cannot avoid him. I have, I have come into a covenant with God. I'm not saying this to brag. No, to give to the Holy Ghost. I will not walk through the corridors of this earth. Without leaving an indelible mark of Christ. That's why we are here. We have... We have too many careless Christians. They are, not, they are not careful about their Christian lives. They are not careful. That's why you will stay in a compound. Let's believe that maybe a witchcraft is there or whatever is there. And you as the believer will be the one running away. Why? They say the power is too much. Uh -uh. Maybe Luke 10, 19 is not your Bible. He said, I give the power to tread on serpent and scorpion. It's not just serpents, plural. Serpents. And scorpions and upon every power of the enemies, he said, I'm nothing, nothing. Come on, and I want to show you how important glory is. One of the reasons why Satan can mesmerize your life is because Satan knows that all you ever have is a story. So, when people ask you, Why are these things happening? you have a reason why you say, eh, It's because my mother, it's because my that, you know, if some of us were jealous, we, our life will not change, our life would remain the way it was because. Jabez would have said it was his mother because the Bible actually told us that it was because the mother gave birth to him in sorrows. That was why she named him Jabez. So some of you, that's your problem. You are looking for who to place the blame on. Meanwhile, the Bible says Jabez withdrew himself and he said, oh God, I pray that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my door. He understood the path of glory. 
you understood that a man that has come into glory, the next thing that will happen is that the story will change. She said, Ikabo. He said, the glory has departed. Why was the glory departed? If you read verse 11, the Bible says, as soon as they took the ark of the covenant, he said, opening and Phineas, the sons of Eli, he said, they died in battle. They died in battle. When I read from that scripture, I saw that the, when the battle intensifies, normally when the battle intensifies, what they do is that they really go, they quickly go to get the Ark of the Covenant. And as soon as they touch the Ark of the Covenant, even if it looks as if God turned their backs on them, because of that Ark, He remembers them. So I was surprised that for the first time, the Bible says they brought the Ark. Instead of the Ark to fight for them or work for them, the Bible says even the Philistines attacked the Ark. I said, wow. So when I look at that, I said, Lord, what are you saying? God said it's not about the prayer. It's about the glory in the prayer. So some of you, you still pray, but there's no result because there's no glory in your prayer. It's not about the study. It's the glory in the study. So it's not just that the ark is there, but that the glory that is resident in the ark. If not, the ark will be there. It will happen. Whenever glory is not there, the next thing is stories. Check your life. If you see series of stories, go and look for glory. Go and look for glory. Stay in the place of prayer until glory is restored. Some of you still pray, but there's no glory. You still study, but there's no glory. Why? The glory has departed. The glory has departed. Some people teach now that once glory comes, it has come. No. No. You cannot say glory is there and you are living carelessly. No. Even, be even people that serve Satan, they have consecration. Even people that serve Satan, they don't live anyhow. I cannot live anyhow as a believer. Because as far as I'm concerned, my life will be an everyday glory. From one glory to another. From one glory to another. Listen to me. Every message is like a lecture. Until glory is introduced. It's like a lecture. If you are a singer, your song is like this normal David song. Until glory. In fact, I even heard that men like Michael Jackson will appear. And people will be slain. Under what anointing? Under what People will say, Michael, and they scream and fall down. What are you doing? As a believer, you need to cry until glory comes. Until glory comes. When the glory, he said, and until the spirit comes, then the wickedness will be made in fruitful field. There is something that glory will do to you. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. I speak in practicals. There is something that glory can do to you. Even in that your business, there is glory that, there's a glory that will be attached to your business. I'm telling you, the way he said the heart of a king is in the hands of the Lord. Like a what? River, he will turn it. God can just tell you, uh, every Monday, don't go out. Don't open your shop. Wait on me. And you stay seven hours. Seven hours. He can tell you just open your store on Tuesday and he will command somebody from US to the person will come to Nigeria and will not know why she will think she came for tourism. But she will not know that her steps were ordered by the Lord because glory has been introduced into your business. Glory can be introduced to your career, to your marriage. That your marriage that is up and down, your husband is behaving anyhow. I'm telling you, glory can put him down. Glory can bring peace. Can you pray for yourself and say, Jesus? I have come to house of glory. Let me not go without this glory. I have come to house of glory. I must go with this glory. See, I lead.